The area that we know as the Overberg in the Eastern Cape was once extremely rich in wildlife. So much so that the early hunters called it the Serengeti of the South. By the time the first farmers occupied the land, most of the big game had been hunted out. Three species of smaller antelope had managed to survive. The handsome springbuck, the graceful impala, and perhaps the most beautiful of the three, the bontebok. To protect their crops, the farmers erected fences and shot any antelopes that would jump over. The springbuck and the impala could clear the fence with ease and the farmers wasted no time shooting them by the hundreds. The Bontebok, however, was unique. It could not jump, so his life was saved. But their number dwindled down through trophy hunting and loss of habitat, and in 1830 there were only 22 left. A small group of the local farmers near Bredarsdorp knew that the Bontebok was in danger of extinction. They knew the last blue buck was shot in 1799 and the last quacha was destined to die in a zoo in Amsterdam. They did not want this to happen to the Bontebok. They erected a fence to keep the last 17 Bontoboks in. A replica of this fence erected on the farm of Alexander van der Beel can be seen near the town of Arniston. It was easy to keep the Bontebok inside the fence because it could not jump. Unfortunately, the area was not completely ideal for its survival. So in 1960, the Bontebok National Park near Swellendam was proclaimed. Here, the Langeberg Mountains provide a beautiful backdrop. The Breda River slowly winds its way through the peaceful scenery. And there are many little streams where animals can stop and drink. The Bontebok flourished here. The Bontebok is unique in that it is the first antelope to be conserved. In those days, hunting the last of a species was considered an achievement rather than a disgrace. The general attitude was, let's shoot it while we still can. No one thought of conservation except for a handful of farmers in the Bredarsdorp area. The reserve is known for its many flowers, and this tortoise is trying to make up his mind which one to eat first. Finally, he makes his choice. Many other animals are protected here, among them the mountain zebra and the eland. Because of its small size, the Bontebok National Park can only sustain 200 Bontebok, so many have been relocated to other reserves all over South Africa and as far as Namibia. One of these reserves is the De Hoop Nature Reserve, not far from Swellendam. Situated on the coastline, it is well known for its protection of the marine reserve, which stretches into the sea for about 5 kilometres. This is the breeding ground of the southern right whale, and it is estimated that about a hundred of them visit this bay every year. Boons are here as well, always up to their usual trick. This one is puzzled by an invisible substance that seems to be blocking his way. De Hoop Nature Reserve was originally proclaimed for the protection of animals in danger of extinction. So the Bontebok thrives here. From the original 17, their numbers have risen to more than 3,500 today, a milestone in the history of conservation in South Africa. 
It survives today so that future generations can have the pleasure of seeing it. And all because it could not jump. <laughs>